Hi, beautiful. Let's watch Hailey Bieber's hair routine and see what she did totally wrong. And let's see what she can improve on. Oh, that was so good. Hailey Bieber, what is up, queen girl sis? Boss, pussy. Oh my god. Okay, let's watch it. I'm going to be doing a cool hair tutorial for you guys. A lot of you have been asking to see how I do my own hair, when I do my own hair. This is seriously no shade at Haley. <laughs> okay, maybe it's a little bit. I love when people say, everybody's been asking me about my hair routine and I want to make a video. And it's like, you know it's like two comments. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in Haley's case, it's probably more, but like, I love when I see that on TikTok and stuff. Like, everybody's been asking and they have like three followers and I'm like, yes! Okay, so step one would be I spray a bit of volumizing spray into my wet hair before I blow dry it. Okay, that's a good idea. As long as she's using product, it's so important to use before doing any styling. Like, you're never gonna get a great result if you do not use good products. I'm not kidding when I say hair depends on good products or else it's never gonna gonna be living its full potential. A little volume spray, love it. Probably has panthenol in it, which is gonna swell the hair fiber and make everything appear thicker and fuller. So if you find a fragile hair, maybe think of using a volumizing spray. You can also prep with something like force field. <laughs> my own product, which also has panthenol in it. Next thing I'm gonna do is blow drying your hair, which I already did. I love that she blow dried her hair very nicely. Like there is no frizz. With this look, you're gonna wanna use a flat brush to blow dry. That way you don't end up with bent ends. Like it's not going like inwards and outwards. And then when you use the flat iron and you put the waves on top of it, you're gonna end up with ends that are like styled and like you don't want that. You want lived in texture. So usually the ends are more on the straight side or just very slightly wavy, but you don't want that really fresh blowout look on the ends of your hair. Avoid that to get a really cute lived in look. I'm going to take texturizing spray and I'm gonna spray it in my hair all over. Texturizing spray is great to start off with. It adds some hold in there. And a lot of the times it's very heat activated. So when you put that wave in there, you're gonna see it's gonna look nice and crisp. She's probably gonna shake it out and get rid of that cast it's gonna leave. And it's gonna give a really great texture overall. So I love that. I'm going to clip my hair up like this. Okay. She's sectioning! Yes! Go Haley. This is just the least I could ask for is sectioning. People always just try to grab a piece without sectioning and it's just gonna make your life so much harder and it's gonna take way longer. I would have preferred her though to do a little bit of a different sectioning that I'm gonna show you guys later. It's just easier and I feel like it just makes the process go by much quicker. I'm gonna start by taking it piece by piece, section by section. And with the iron, I just do this. I don't know how to explain explain what this motion is, kind of just a wave motion. The texture of my hair, especially when I'm like just showered and my hair's really, really clean is it's kind of like slick. I have to sometimes add a bit more of like a texture spray or a hairspray as I'm doing my hair so that it has a little bit more of like a grip. For her, before she does each section, I would have totally recommended using a workable hairspray or just a very light hold hairspray. You really need something in there that's gonna add a lot of grit to the hair. Please guys, don't be afraid of hairspray. I know so many girls are afraid of hairspray. Not saying that she is, but like, I know one of you are afraid of it and you don't need to be. It's a great thing to use. It's not gonna make your hair feel crunchy if you use the right one and it's just gonna make your style last so much longer and look so much better. I also wanna touch on her technique on, with the flat iron in a little bit, but we'll save that for a couple more minutes. I'm gonna take down one more section, and this is how I usually do it too, right? Like I finish the whole head, and then I look for different spots in my hair that I think I need to like fix or go over again. That's great, what the hell? Is she gonna do anything wrong? Well, there's one thing I could already perfect on, but one second. Go back in with a little texture spray. So what the texturizing spray does is it gives it a little bit of thickness and it mattifies the hair a little bit. I have really like sleek, silky hair and when you're trying to do anything with an iron, I feel like sometimes it kind of just like slides out. Ooh, it is coming together. And this is such a great thing to point out. She's directing the iron out and down at the beginning instead of inwards and out. That is gonna give her nice volume around the face instead of it being like, this, you know what I mean? So it's looking amazing. I do, however, see some crease marks from the flat iron. Listen, even I get creases sometimes, but you can avoid them if you really move that iron quick, fast, and keep it going at all times. It's when you do a little 
of this and then you stop and then you do this and you stop that's when you get those marks so avoid stopping when you're doing the wave technique with the flat iron be careful about like not squeezing the iron too tight because even in that piece you could see that like it dented a little bit in my hair my vibe right now especially with my hair is I've been doing a lot of this like messy kind of like undone lived in to me it's fine if it's not like these perfect like glossy wave now for the final layer something I'm noticing though is that she's not really doing anything besides that flat wave which is again totally fine and totally up to her but I love to combine like different wave patterns in the head that way it looks even more natural because this can look very faux wave if it's all kind of done like this it's a very telltale sign that like you know obviously you flat ironed your hair and you made the waves but if you want to give yourself that natural looking but perfect wave with a flat iron you have to combine in some very light curls and some other waves that are going in different directions. So I will go back over a couple pieces I've already done just to kind of like blend the top of my hair and blend the rest of it. Miss Hailey Bieber, there's a lot of crimp on that hair. <laughs> that's looking like one of those 90s crimpers, right? <laughs> they, they crimp shapes in your hair. That's what, that's what that piece just looked like. For the top layer of my hair, I don't start as high up with the iron because I know that it will cause it to dent. That's actually funny she says that because I love to start up really high with the iron. It's more like I finish the whole look and then at the end, I'll go up on a few pieces really high up and add just a little bit of bend at the root. It's just that extra extra cute finishing step that makes it all come together. It's all about the tiny details when it comes to doing flat iron waves. It looks crazy. With the front pieces, she kind of did the same technique again. Literally, I just need to repeat this, that she doesn't have to do anything that I'm saying, obviously. And she looks great, duh. I love to do just a very light curl in the front and like haul it out with your hands as much as possible. So it gives you like a little wave, but it's still opening your face up and giving you more cheekbone. So to finish it off, I will hit it one more time with the texturizing spray and kind of just rough it up, especially around my face. I add dry shampoo at the end because I hope hope that when I do my hair and then sleep on it, it'll still be fresh enough to wear again the next day. So this is a very common thing that I do on people and so many clients do is use dry shampoo on their clean hair to prevent oils from coming up on your scalp. Totally a great idea. I just love a shiny wave. I know what the idea is to look more lived in, but like, mm, the glossy waves. I just like when hair looks shiny. Is it just me? I don't want to dull it out. Go in, especially at my roots with some dry shampoo, looking clean and fresh, but also textured and messy and a little bit gritty. I love that she's not afraid for it to look gritty and textured. I love that look too. I love when it looks like fucked up a little bit. My last, last step is to take a really light hairspray that's not like a super hard hold hairspray. Spray it lightly on both sides. That is it. Yes, we use a hairspray. The only thing she didn't use that I think Haley would love is like a wax or a balm. I usually use my BDSM balm and that just adds like the perfect amount of texture, but it's also hydrating for the ends at the same time. I like put a little bit of my palm, go like this and kind of scrunch it in. And oh my God, it just like gives you that PC, like slept in texture. It's just hot. Or she could also use a sea salt spray on top of that. That's also a great idea. Just right on the top, again, scrunch it in, and that'll give you even more of that real lived in, easygoing surfer girl vibe. But I'm actually gonna show you guys right now how you actually do all this and um, show you what I would have done differently on uh, Miss Manny Quinn. Where are you, Miss Manny Quinn? <laughs> She's been in a good mood lately, I will say. And Haley, I would give you a solid eight and a half out of 10 for that one. That was dope, that was really good. A lot of people cannot do that, and um, you look fabulous. Oh, hi, Miss Manny Quinn. So obviously I already prepped her hair with some Recalibrate Balm Repair Leave-In Cream because who doesn't want healthier hair from the inside out and your hair to look shiny as fuck and beautiful. And yes, this is my brand new product and I'm obsessed with it. And then I put in some Force Field Heat Shield to protect our hair against heat damage. Very important. And now we are ready to do a little waving. Now, I told you guys before that I like to section a little bit differently than Miss Haley Biebs. And what we're gonna do is a little halo, halo. You know I love it. Just a circle in the middle of the hair. It doesn't need to be perfect. Perfect, except I always end up trying to make it perfect. Clip the clip low because you don't want clip marks up here. All right, so that's a 
halo section. Boom, bang, boom. I just think it's easier like this. I don't know. Now let me show you how to do the wave. Maybe a little teensy bit better than Haley. I'm gonna say it a, a little bit better. I'm gonna start all the way in the back because you wanna get that most annoying piece done first. And that is always the very back piece that you can't see. Let's take the iron. We're gonna turn it down halfway first and then back up halfway. It's just this movement, just this rocking movement as you go. And we're not gonna let the iron sit in place at all. I'm not using the highest heat so that way the waves aren't too like crisp. But I also <laughs> almost forgot. Gonna put some hairspray in there. So it's a very light bit of hairspray around everything and you're good to go. Honestly, on camera, it looks a lot more harsh than in real life. There actually isn't any creasing in the hair. You can see it's a wave. Maybe that's what happened to Haley, but there's no like actual creases, like folds in the hair. It's okay if you have these sort of bumps because that's what we're looking for. Now, next to that wave, I'm gonna do a curl because I don't want everything to be perfectly waved. So I'm gonna take the iron like this and turn halfway like that. So instead of doing a horizontal wave, we're doing a vertical one. And now I'm gonna do the same technique, but I'm gonna hold the iron more at a vertical rather than a horizontal. And that is what we get, a wave that doesn't completely match the one beside it. Because if you do match the one beside it, everything's gonna kind of clump together and not look great. Beside that one, I'm gonna do another horizontal one. And we're gonna keep that iron moving. The faster you can go with this iron, the better. Now on this side, let's add a little curl, shall we? So I'm gonna turn the iron halfway and follow it down the hair. And then after, I'm gonna really pull on that hair and let that curl release. And now we have a curl in there. I know you're thinking like, why would you do all that? But I swear it's gonna come together, okay? And I might take this piece and add a little bit of a crimp up here and let it down. All right, another horizontal wave. Another vertical. And we are on the front now. I'm gonna take this piece and do a slight curl. So I'm gonna start from here and drop it out at the ends. Okay, that's not as much as I wanted, so I'm gonna work on the front piece again. Okay, that's looking good. I like this bit right here, but it's looking too curled in the bottom, don't you think? Like it's a little too like done up. So I'm gonna turn the bottom in to make it not look so perfect. Okay, gorgeous. Honestly, at the end, we'll break this up a bit so it doesn't look so curled. But so far, this is the effect we are getting. Something really lived in and gorgeous. And it's gonna come together even more when we let down that top layer. So let me do the other side. We are done with the perimeter. Let's let down the rest of the hair. And I'm just gonna work through this hair just like this and get some waves in there. We're gonna do the same technique over and over again. And I also wanna show you one other trick I like to use. I basically do a curl and then I reverse the curl on the ends. And it gives you a curl that's kind of like confused. It's like going one way and then it's going the other way. So it just gives you a beautiful wavy effect and you can even iron the bottom a little bit. And it's giving you more of like an S wave rather than a wave that goes horizontal horizontally. Okay, now that we are done for the most part on the waves, we're gonna add just a few finishing touches. And this is what I was saying before. I love just putting a little bit more in there right at the top. I just grab really small pieces like this and just add a bend and let it down. It's so subtle, but it's really gonna give that final result just that extra oomph, because that is what it's all about. See that? Like, ooh, it's all about those really small pieces that make it look like it's actually your real hair that is perfectly wavy. To me, that looks gorgeous and perfect. To you, I don't know. Let's do the other side now. All right, time for the finishing touches. Let's add some BDSM, slick and define bomb, obviously, because I literally can't live without it. I'll put it on my hands like this and do a little scrunch a poo at the bottom. Oh, see how that just makes the waves come alive? Wow hot. And a little bit of sea salt spray. I like to just hold the hair up and spray it on there. And I always do this sort of like tangling motion. And everybody's always like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I am just trying to knot up the hair so it doesn't look so perfect. Let's top it off with some hairspray. Gorgeous. And here we are. This is the finished look. Super lived in, so pretty. She looks gorgeous. We look like we could be best friends because you have great hair.
We are best friends, I mean. Right? I slay your hair all the time, so we better be best friends at this point. Imagine her with like a little like, ooh, what's up? My name is Courtney. So freaking cute, and the more she messes it up, the better it looks. Sexy summer hair or Hailey Bieber hair. That is how you get that five minute, beautiful, lived in wave brought to us by Hailey Bieber. It really is so easy to do if you have the right technique. If you guys wanna check out my hair care, my hair color line, you can do so with the link right down below or go to xmodelhair.com. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.